Ideal weather, no complaints on that front here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. Gabriel Martinelli. Alexander Zinchenko. Thomas Partey. Bukayo Saka. Jaka. Gabriel Jesus. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Reese James. Well, Martin Odegaard is supremely gifted, and I wonder, Stuart, what role you think he'll play in this game. I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability. Oh, Stuart, an opportunity! And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart it. Joao Felix. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Joao Felix. And now with Havertz. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Sound piece of goalkeeping. Kovacic and with that the attack fizzles out Martin Odegaard and it's Gabriel Jesus and now Jaka surely in it goes the goal for 1-0 and that changes the dynamic Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. A 
It'll be interesting to see whether or not Chelsea can articulate an appropriate reply. Fernandes. Koulibaly. Enzo Fernandes. Now with Havertz. Sterling. Well, he successfully got past him. Havertz. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. And over it comes. Now too close to the goalkeeper to really pose a threat. Martinelli on to Jesus. Ben White. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And it might be. And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Underway. Mateo Kovacic. And you can sense the threat is there. Kai Havertz, chance to reduce the arrears, and he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Joao Felix and there is the goal well that changes the equation and they have the momentum now well as you can see this is a wonderful strike he makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it it's a great goal Well, underway again, it's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Alexander Zinchenko. Jacka with it. Joao Felix. Sterling has it. Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Martin Odegaard. On to Jesus. It's with Odegaard. Bukayo Saka. Promising sequence. Gabriel Jesus. Is it going to be Granit Xhaka? And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. That's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Sterling and Havertz Sterling not to be and still chasing this game well that was the chance to get back into this as it is they're going to struggle now
Jesus. Granit Xhaka. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Firing it towards goal. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. A lot to like about Martin Odegaard and his performance up to this point. Stuart, I know you've enjoyed it. Yeah, he's done everything you want from a midfield player. He's wriggled out of tight situations. He's played a lot of forward passes and he's also defended well. His assist is just the icing on the cake. Wesley Fofana. Fernandez. Sterling has it. An unforced error, you've got to say. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Havertz. And intercepted it. Xhaka. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. And a more than satisfactory first half showing from Martin Odegaard. Sum up his performance for us. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. So the ball moving, the pendulum has already swung Arsenal's way in this game. Will we see more of the same in the second half? Xhaka. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Kai Havertz. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And a very good challenge. Saka. Brilliant piece of skill. White. Chance to play it in. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Must be! And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. they go again, Arsenal very much in charge, it's turning into a right old thrashing Enzo Fernandez moving forward effectively and this situation could be dangerous well he couldn't quite hit the target Stuart well it's a decent effort but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper Granit Xhaka. Gabriel Martinelli. Arsenal have given it away. Fernandez. And into the last 30 minutes now. 
Xhaka being egged on by the crowd and using his body to good effect. Coming off the pitch, number 34, Granit Xhaka, to be replaced by number 20, Jorginho. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number 21, Ben Chilwell. Coming onto the pitch, take it short. It is now with Jorginho. Well read to win possession back. Wesley Fofana. Sterling has it. Kai Havertz. An incisive pass. Really vital interception here. Mateo Kovacic. Sterling has it. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Havertz. And Sterling has it. James. Can he get one back? Just like that, they grabbed another one. And who's to say they're not going to come back again? Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. Well, the match continues, the arithmetic having been altered by Chelsea. Martin Odegaard. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Partey. Can they convert? And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him, and he's having a field day. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. the last 15 minutes of action not a scoreline we see all that often 5-3 Havertz now they stopped them in their tracks and the counter attack is on options available Mateo Kovacic, excellent defending. Gabriel Jesus. Martinelli. It is now with Jorginho. Opportunity. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Short corner it is. 
And it's Gabriel Jesus. Superbly read and executed. Kai Havertz. On the ball, Joao Felix. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Oh, super piece of play. Felix could reduce the deficit. And strike it. And touched onto the frame of the goal. Oh, he's blocked it. Havertz could pull one back here. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Corner it is for Chelsea. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. Felix. Ziyech. Oh, there it is. A lifeline in this game. And what a finale we could be in for here. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Well, I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Well, it's a great advantage to any side when you're as comfortable on the ball as they are. Committed challenge. Down by a goal. This could be the final opportunity to snatch something. Sterling has it. Can he finish? And hunting for his second goal tonight, however. Well, you're absolutely right. He's been on great form today. That was another good effort. A corner then. And with time running out, they've got to ask questions. He did his job defensively. Sterling. This could be the equaliser. And pushed onto the woodwork. And so that is that. The referee blows for full time. A victory for Arsenal. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes and they fully deserved their victory today. Well, he kept asking questions, Martin Odegaard. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.